We're going to tell you it's totally hopeless to compete with us. We should take the development out of China very, very seriously. The United States can't lead in this technology. We're going to be in a very bad place. The release of deep seek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake up call. It became the most downloaded free app in the U.S. on Apple's App Store. Nvidia is once again the talk of the day. It's the stock of the day. It's now down more than 6%. 1,000 sanctions on China, but still, how did a 200 employee company in China compete against a company which has 4,000 employees, but still, a company with 200 employees wins? Okay, let's talk about DeepSeek versus ChatGPT. In this video today, I will make it so simple for you that by the end of this video, you will understand everything about DeepSeek and ChatGPT. When ChatGPT was launched, it made AI a cool thing and the perception about ChatGPT was it's going to replace Google. On one hand, we have O1 by ChatGPT and the other hand, we have R1 by DeepSeek. And if you talk about the cost, roughly estimate is that cost on O1 was $196 million. The cost on R1 is just $5.6 million. Funny to hear, how did a small company in China crash NASDAQ? And the loss was roughly estimated $1 trillion. Now, what is NASDAQ? NASDAQ is American Stock Exchange. If you go on Google, type NASDAQ graph and check the results of last one week or five days, you're going to see a sudden drop in NASDAQ graph just because of this one company, DeepSeek. To show you all, I'm here at Google and I type NASDAQ graph. Now, if you go directly to last five days, look here, there's a sudden drop. And this all is just because of one Chinese company with 200 employees based somewhere in Hangzhou, China. Why there was a loss of $1 trillion? Because the people who invested their money in American companies like Google, Meta, Nvidia, and um, Facebook, etc., right? They were thinking that these companies are going to do something crazy, something cool with AI. But what happened when the Deep Seek was launched and the NASDAQ dropped suddenly, so people took out their money from the American company. The difference between O1 and Deep Seek is in O1, when you type something, it works on four to five days old information. But in DeepSeek, it gives you a real-time answers, real-time results. You type something, it goes to internet and get results for you. Check out the accuracy of these results. We have this website called Humanity Last Exam. It shows the ranking of different AI tools. If you scroll down, you're going to see, look here, O1, it has accuracy of 9.1. DeepSeek R1, which was launched like just a week ago, if you see the accuracy, it's 9.4. Now keep in mind, O1 is a quite old company and they have a lot of exposure. DeepSeek is just a new company and it was a side project. Still, you can see the accuracy of R1 is way better than O1. DeepSeek announces that if you want to make money by using DeepSeek, we don't have any problem. But still, instead of people using it for a good cause, for their own benefit, people are asking stupid and controversial questions to DeepSeek. And when it's not answering, they are blaming it to be bad and, you know, censored and stuff like that. But the reality is DeepSeek beat it O1 and threw it away out of the window. And we all can use it for free because it's open source. We don't have to pay like $200 for O1 or something like that. We can use it free. Whenever we are talking about China versus USA, how is it possible there will be no propaganda? So right now, USA is saying that China is lying. The number of employees were not 200 and the cost was not $5.6 million because they say that China is lying and they want to make it look big with less resources. But on the other hand, China is saying that USA is attacking their software so it can be flopped. At last, I would just say that we should never be overconfident like Sam, the owner of OpenAI company. You saw the clip where he says that uh, it's, not, it's not possible that someone is going to compete with us. There's always someone bigger. There's always someone higher than you. So if you like the video, do subscribe and like and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye. Never slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness